Hello, I'm back with some very cool stuff for you people. And that is how to host your own Reddit server on the internet. So it's public and it's Reddit and it's not running on your local PC. Doesn't even, you know, your internet doesn't even notice that you have a server running because it's all running remotely in a server center of your hoster. Uh, and I got two things, or one thing you need and one thing I suggest. So one thing you need is FileZilla here, that's an FTP client. You'll be able to get it from SourceForge. I'll be linking this one up here in the description. Just press download here and you're good to go. And also you'll need, you can create a folder for your hosted server. And first step is selecting a hoster and I suggest to you, you take uh, creeperhost.net. They're the best in my opinion. They do a lot of stuff. They have a lot of different services like they have all of this, mini slime slime. They have a lot to offer. So you can even have a trial server, you know. You can have a trial server for, you know, a bit of testing how it works. And I have this slime server here. So yeah, that's good to go. And what you'll be needing here is just go into services and select whatever service you want. For testing, you could use trial or mini slime and just order now and you'll be taking to billing form. And yeah, that's that. So you just wanna have that ordered and you can use whatever hoster but I think creeper host is definitely the best they have a great control panel and I'm gonna get into that now so once you have I'm gonna be explaining all of this for creeper host so yeah if you want to follow along I suggest creeper host but most of this is actually applicable to all other hosters as well okay you want to go sign in and sorry for the background noise I can't help it you want to sign in and I have my email here which is no reply at howtobucket.com and log in go into control panel and email is no reply at howtobucket and entering my password log in there we go now we're on creeper CP and I'm not going to get into all of this now we're just going to get into basic stuff. So important tabs, Minecraft system. You obviously know what server manager is. On Minecraft, we're going to get into that in a different video. I'm going to be having a creeper host series. So if you have a creeper host server, that might be useful for you too. But really important right now is system because you can use this for any hoster. And you want to go into login information and you want to find this FTP here and mine's my username is apparently Minecraft and now what you need is FileZilla which you had downloaded open that up right get into my folder here that I created and just paste the username into username the password copy it make sure you don't copy spaces in front of or after and the host copy that too and FTP is always 21 you don't even need to enter that but yeah wait for that and there you go to connect like that and now you're on your server basically and you see what we ha had in our local tutorial just that it's now remote so this is not on our PC this is on a remote server that is hosted by creeper host and we can modify it now. So here's our convenient plugin folder and I already have a few plugins here as you see and you can just simply install those by uh, downloading them to your desktop or whatever and I'm doing this this way so you all can see what it's like for any host or creeper host offers more ways to add plugins to your server but uh, hard to do here because I don't have my, any in my folders here. I'm just gonna 
unzip that one again to show you how it works. Right, so now we have that full again. Go in here and you see now we're in our plugin directory here and here we are in our essentials and now you just take all these jars and upload them and then you go into your control panel and restart your server and here's how you see the console you go to dashboard game consoles different for different hosters but it's similar and there's minecraft and you see a lot of stuff here metrics and that's just you know a lot of stuff to go and yeah you don't need to worry about that it's because i have essentials on but that's basically how you get your rented server and how it works so you have now how to edit the configuration files and that's why i created this folder here in my plugins obviously the same folders that we had in what well, in the local one were created on starting the server so we get into our essentials and we have that same config yml here but we can't really edit it from here. So you either download it and you have it in your folder now, but I like my stuff ordered. So I tend to create a directory and essentials within my bucket server CP folder, get config YML and minimize it, minimize it. Folder, essentials, and there we go. Same file and now can edit that as we want so as you know me I don't like my ops named colored so I just save it by the way I have just re recently put this group manager file out for everyone check out my videos it's in the free stuff playlist and you know now we have that saved now it, that file has been changed and we just go into config right here the file we just downloaded and double click to upload and overwrite it and now you have to reload or restart your server and it will be loaded just perfectly fine just like locally just that you have to upload it in between every time but now here's one quick tip you can go here and view and edit directly for that you have to specify an editor so I, I have mine it's no pebbles plus I have specified this one and for example I now I tend to just whatever I don't like kids so I just remove my kids here save it and now that we have that done we have it saved we can close it and you see now when we close it you see it, it asks us to upload and now we press yes and it uploads automatically that's pretty useful too I think that's in settings and somewhere down there is file editing yep and there is file type associations so for YML files I have specified in my windows which is get somewhere here default programs associate a file type or protocol with a specific program for YML I have notepad plus plus so you just go here and wait for that to load give it a second I'm gonna drag that in here so it's nice and visible and there we go scroll down to Y What, 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 where's Y? There's Y. YML is connected to Notepad++, so you would go and change program and change it to whatever editor you want. It's defaulted to nothing, so you want to change it. And I suggest Notepad++ because it's good. And yeah, quick tip in YML files, don't use tabs, use spaces just so you don't get errors all the time. So that was how to rent it server, how to manage it a bit. It's just basic, very, very basic. But there is the Creeper host series coming up, so stay tuned. And uh, I'm gone. Don't forget to rate and comment and subscribe. 
not really rating anymore, is it? It's just like or dislike. Well, like the video if you liked it, and I will see you in my other videos. Thanks for watching.